Hi everyone. Okay, I'm really sorry about the crappy lighting in here tonight, but um, I really wanted to get a video put together and um, yeah, it's getting quite late and obviously with it being October now, it's quite dark outside, so the lighting unfortunately isn't as good as I would like, but um, it's been a couple of weeks since I last did a video. On my last one, I had lost five pounds and was so chuffed with that and I had four pounds to go until I hit my six stone award which I did the week after. Um, I'd been following red days the first week to lose the five pounds and then I did another week of red days and lost the four pound and um, yeah I get weighed now on a Friday on a Friday morning so it was the day before I went away back down to England to visit family and to go on a little holiday and yeah I was just so so happy couldn't believe that I'd finally hit the six stone mark and yeah so what I wanted to do is basically just do a quick video tonight to let you know what's been happening and what's happened since then and whatever else um we went down to visit my mum and dad and family down in England on the Saturday morning and we were there until the Monday morning. On the Sunday we went to my niece who's also my goddaughter. Uh, we went to her christening and that was really really good. I made a big batch of chilli um, which was completely slim and well friendly and that's what I had at the Buffy. Um, but other than that I was pretty much off plan. I had, was drinking cider um, the majority of the weekend. I can't really remember what else we had. Oh, I'd made a curry as well on the Saturday night, um, which was just out of a jar. That's what my mum had, so that's what I made. And then on the Monday, we went off for five, four, no, four nights? Four nights in Southport. Absolutely had a brilliant time. Southport is such a lovely, lovely place. And um, the only thing was we stayed in a Pontins and I haven't stayed in a Pontins for a long long time and it was in chalets and the chalets were just hot they were like they weren't nice they were horrible um, but it, it was it was bog standard we weren't planning on spending much time in the chalet and that anyway so um, the the place itself where the entertainment and that was, was was fine it was all really really good but we went half board um, basically to try and save a bit of money that way and we'd booked it months and months and months ago um, and at the time we decided to go half board but you literally the breakfast was there was some cereals on offer but none that I liked um, they had like chocolate cereal which I can't stand I don't like chocolate milk and stuff like that so um, I don't like Cocoa Pops and I think they had Cocoa Pops they had cornflakes and they had like Rice Krispies but um, the other alternative was a cooked breakfast and it was like on a buffet style so they had, and this was the same every single morning, they had hash browns, sausage, bacon, egg, beans, tomato and fried bread and toast. So that was the offerings of the morning. Obviously nothing's grilled, nothing's cooked in fry like it's all just like full of fat and cooked in oil and all the rest of it. But so yeah, that was for the four mornings that was there, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday morning. Um, no, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning. Is that what I said? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the four mornings anyway, that was the breakfast. And then for the evening meals, that changed each night. And um, generally there was always chips. But then it'd be things like steak pie and um, curries and chilies and things like that. Again, obviously nothing's cooked in fry light. And it would have been cooked in a lot of oil and things like that. But there was no salad. No, tell a lie, there was salad. But it was kind of salad I don't like. Like, I feel like cucumber and things like that. And um, pasta salads, potato salads and things that are obviously covered in mayonnaise. And all sorts of really fattening dressings and stuff like that. So I literally was off plan all week. Because um, the food that was on offer just... There was... The kind of, there wasn't really an option to do a Slim and World Friendly. Although, saying that, I could have probably had cornflakes every morning and 
tried to have some sort of a salad every night, but it wasn't going to happen. I would have been miserable. I would have been starving. Well, hungry. And yeah, what a holiday is for. So uh, yeah, it's completely off plan. We then on the Friday morning went back to my mum's for the weekend and I can't remember what we had on the Friday night. But again, it was off plan. It, I was off plan all weekend. We had a lot of cider, um, which was stupid because I could have stuck to vodka but went on the cider. Friday morning would normally be my way day, but as normal, I didn't want to take my scales down with me or anything like that. So I made the decision that I would weigh myself when we came home. Um, we came home on the Sunday, so I was going to weigh myself on the Monday morning. It's now Wednesday. I haven't weighed myself. To be honest, have I been absolutely petrified? No, petrified, that's ridiculous. I wasn't petrified. I've just not wanted to because I thought if I, if I go on the scales and it's really, really bad... I don't want to knock my confidence because I know what I'm like and I, I can sometimes be the type of person that's like, oh, well, sod it. If I've gained, then I might as well just carry on this week and pig out, which is, I know sounds crazy, but that's the way my mind sometimes works. So um, I kind of made the conscious decision not to get weighed and to this point, I haven't weighed myself yet, um, but I am planning on weighing myself on Saturday morning. So what I'd planned on doing this week was doing another week of red days because um, I figured they worked so well coming up towards my little breakaway that I thought it would kind of limit the damage this week. But it's just not happened. Um, it's We're absolutely skin. It's the end of the month and we've just had a holiday, a little breakaway. So we've kind of been eating the things we've already got in the house. Things we've already got in the house are cupboard things and things in the freezer and stuff like that. So it's mainly, obviously the cupboard stuff and things like that tend to be, well, in our house, they tend to be pastas, rice, stuff like that. So um, yeah, I've gone extra easy this week, um, but I've still tried to limit the damage for, for Friday morning. I am still expecting a gain. I'm under no illusion that I'm gonna have either maintained or um lost <laughs> there's no way I've lost but I don't know how I feel about it because on the one hand I've been on holiday and I've enjoyed myself and I don't feel guilty for that um because at the end of the day this isn't a diet for me this is a lifestyle change but in life we go on holiday in life we we sometimes eat things we maybe shouldn't do or or treat ourselves whatever um, and that to me is all I've done this week it doesn't mean that I'm not going to continue down the road and get into Target but then the other thing is that I know because I've hit the six stone mark now I know again it's going to mean that that's gone um, although I know obviously I'm going to get it back in the next week or two or whatever however long it takes but yeah um I put a thing on my Facebook as well saying that um, I was going to do my video tonight and stuff and that I was feeling crap because I've been eating crap and I literally have. I don't, like I've not been felt crap in that or oh, feeling sorry for myself and things like that crap. I mean I'm physically feeling crap, um, really lethargic, really tired, really um, stodgy and just uncomfortable. So I know that this, like my body's obviously adjusted to eating the healthier things that the, obviously the oils and the fats and things I've ate last week, my body just doesn't like them anymore. Um, whereas if it had been 18 months ago, I could have probably quite happily sat and ate all that and um, been okay. Although the way I was 18 months ago, I wasn't okay anyway. I couldn't walk up the stairs without getting out of breath and I, and I just felt generally uncomfortable all the time. But what I mean is my body now this just doesn't feel right, just doesn't like the the crap that I've put in it this week. Um, so yeah, that's all I meant by that message. I'm, I'm, it wasn't that I'm feeling down and stuff like that. I'm actually um, was just meaning that my body feels crap. My my physical body um 
Oh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of, now that I'm speaking about it, I want, I definitely want to get on the scales on Friday morning. I want to see what the damage is and then just sort of head towards Christmas um, with a clearer view of where I am and where I've got, where I want to be and things like that. Um, I think it's 10 weeks till Christmas um, and my Christmas due with work is a, is the 19th of December and um, which is a Friday so that'll be quite handy and um, obviously that'll be I think that'll be nine weeks on or is it eight or nine weeks on Friday I'll work that out anyway but what I'm thinking of doing is some sort of a little countdown I know a lot of people that go to group and things they've got been given trees with baubles on or something like that um, and I've seen a couple of people that have dresses and the shading colours on, on them, shading boxes on the dress. I'm, I'm thinking I want to do something like that just as a physical thing, whether I stick it on the fridge downstairs or whether I've, I put it on the wardrobe or something, um, just for these weeks leading up to, to Christmas. But obviously I won't know, um, well, I suppose I could decide now. I could decide whether, you know, it's half stone or stone or whatever. But um, I just want a, cl a clear view, so I'll be doing that once I've been weighed on Friday. So I'll speak about it on Friday night when I ne next do a video. Um, but if anybody's got any ideas or anything like that, just let me know um, what you think about doing that kind of thing and whether you've got any um, templates or anything like that that you can show me. I... I've been thinking a lot about Target as well and whether or not to change my Target but I think I'm going to wait till, I'm another, till I've lost another stone before I kind of make any decision. I've got my Target set at nine and a half. Um, I'm five foot four and when I looked at, you know, the BMI chart that you get from the doctors and things like that and they have it all over the internet. When I looked at that for five and five foot four, I think it was from memory, I think it was somewhere between like eight and a half and ten and a half was the healthy range, um, or there and thereabouts. So I decided to go sort of in the middle and, and stick to nine and a half stone. But I'm honestly thinking I don't know whether that's gonna be right for me. I think if I'm happy at ten and a half or ten I'm going to stop there um, purely because when I look at myself now I don't think I've got as much to go as I thought I did in, in the first place but I think it's really hard when you start when you get nearer to target it's hard to know when to start I mean you hear so many people and saying you know you don't want to get too thin and you don't you don't want to end up looking gone and, and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's your choice and, you know, look the way you want to look and be happy with who you are. Um, but I don't want to, I don't want to set a, a target in stone until I'm nearer to that target, if you know what I mean. So although it's nine and a half at the moment, basically what I'm saying is that could change. Um, but like I say, I won't know till I'm nearer to it but that's two if I had lost the six stone if I'm still at the six stone mark which I don't think I will be but if I'm still at the six stone mark that's two stone six pounds away and um, would get me to nine and a half stone but um because I'm well when I last got weighed I was 11 13 but I don't think I think I'm definitely back in the 12s but yeah, let me know what you think about targets and um, whether you've set yours and whether you, you think you might change yours or whether you have changed yours or anything like that because, um, yeah, I have, like I say, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Um, hopefully I've not bored too much. I'm going to go now and um, go and chill out watching some TV. Um, I borrowed a DVD off one of the girls at work following and it's really really good so I'm going to go and watch another couple of episodes of that and just chill out with my new favourite thing which is the cafe, the Nest Cafe menu, um, cafe menu is it I think, drinks, coffees and lattes and mochas and all sorts. I've got um, four different flavours and absolutely love them. They range from like I think 
three and a half to about five and a half sins, I think. I've got them written all on the boxes anyway. Um, I'll talk about them probably more on Friday as well. Haven't done a favourites video for ages, which I, I'm, I will try and do um, for October. And yeah, hope you're all having a great week and I will speak to you all on Friday. Bye.